Heroku is discontinuing its free tier on November 28, 2022. Not the deal we wanted to have for Cyber Monday. That means that if you had your side project hosted on there, you either need to upgrade to a paid plan on Heroku or switch your hosting provider. And since for a side project that nobody uses, I'd rather not spend any money, I found these three free alternatives to Heroku free tier. If your app is in JavaScript, TypeScript or Python, then Cycle may be your best option. But only if you know how to properly write the dependencies in your package.json file, because the final size of the package cannot exceed 240 megabytes. The benefits of their free tier are great though. First, you get an instance with 1024 megabytes of RAM, which is twice more than other free options out there. Secondly, it allows you to scale up to 10 instances, and that's on the free tier. Also, it doesn't have the inactivity timeout, so your app will always feel fast even on the free tier. And instead of being given the time limit as with other options, you're given 100,000 API requests limit per month. And realistically, if you have more than 100,000 requests per month, maybe you should consider upgrading to a paid plan. On top of that, you're given a free database, one gigabyte of storage, smart caching, and custom subdomain. Outside of the package bundle size, my biggest complaint about Cyclic is that they don't give you the ability to provide your own start or build commands, and you have to follow certain rules to get all of that working. Outside of that, it should really be your top pick if you are developing in JavaScript, JavaScript, TypeScript, or Python. Another free alternative to Heroku is Railway. It gives you an instance with 512 megabytes of RAM, 1 gigabyte disk storage, and a monthly $5 credit and 500 hours of execution time. Once you run out of the credit or the hours, your app will be taken down, and when the limits get replenished for you next month, you have to manually redeploy your app. And that is probably the biggest downside of using Railway, and I also have not found anything about the inactivity timeout. On a positive note, it supports a bunch of different languages, so you're not limited to just JavaScript or Python, and it may be your best option depending on the language you're programming in. Last but not least, Render. It is the one I ended up using for deploying my side project, which is a card game built with BoardGame.io framework. They give you an instance with 512 megabytes of RAM and 750 hours of execution time. So if I did the math correctly and it was the only app hosted on my account, then I would basically never run out of this limit. The thing I liked most about Render is that it didn't try to be smart and it asked me which commands should be run to build and start the project. Your web app can be deployed to Render if it is written in Node, Python, Go, Rust, Ruby or Elixir. The biggest downside of Render is that the apps get spun down after 15 minutes of inactivity and it may take 30 seconds on the first request after the app got spun down. That should be fine for a side project that you just want to show to your friends or a potential employer. And these are the top three Heroku alternatives that I found the easiest to set up. There are a lot of other options that you can use and you can even try deploying manually to Azure or AWS, but that's a topic for another day. And if you want to see the simple card game that I was building that I had to transfer from Heroku to render, then watch the next video.